Okay, there we go. Hi guys. Hey, this is lesson one of how to train puppies at Diane Land. For all you guys who are getting puppies from me, I thought I'd do like a little, uh, try to do like a little weekly thing here to show you just some real basic positive training tips. Um, so basically what you want to do is just get the dog away from all other dogs um, that are going to distract you basically. And all you need is one of these dollar clickers that they sell at Pet Co and Pet Smart. You just got to push down on them. And the whole thing is that the dog, <laughs> the dog, do you want, you, do you like cheese or not? I, they got it. You got to have a treat they really like. So if she's not into cheese or she can't figure out how to eat cheese, how about that? Do you like that one? Oh yeah, you like that one. That's what I thought. Okay. Um, you have to have a treat that they really, really like and that is small enough that it's not going to take them 20 minutes to eat each piece. So what I'm using today is some frozen, I don't even know what it is, fresh pet home cooked chicken recipe with antioxidants and all this crap. And I've got it in little tiny pieces. And today being the first day, and, the, and the, these pups are only, uh, what did I say, five weeks or six weeks? I think they're six weeks old. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're, we're doing what's called loading the clicker. We're giving the click sound meaning. So it doesn't matter what the puppy does. You just click it. <laughs> and then... Yeah, bring them back here and you feed them. Okay? There. Okay, she knows I have food now. So I'm going to click it and feed it. Now what that means is she is learning that the click sound precedes food. Okay? Right now it means nothing to her. But hopefully in a very short amount of time, she will learn that every time she hears that click, that she gets food. And why that's important is that this is a language that you can use to talk with your dog. And the dog can learn to learn because you have a language that says to the dog what you just did was correct, I'm marking it, and that's why it's called marker training, because you're marking what the dog did at the exact moment the dog did something right, and then feeding it. Right now it doesn't look too promising, does it? But believe me, by next week when I have a functioning clicker and a dog that can eat, come on, there you go. There you go. I was going to use, uh, oh, here comes Ready. Okay. Let's try Ready, too. Okay. So with it, and the other thing with training is you always want to do very, very short sessions, like three minutes, okay? Like three minutes is all. Now, you can do that as many times a day as you want, but you can't do it longer than three minutes at a time because the puppy's brain will go out the window. Okay, last one. There we go. Okay, that was brownie there. So let me try somebody else. Hi, where's Reddy? Red, 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 red. <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? Who is, where's everybody? Who's everybody?